morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am very excited because we are finally tackling our two patios. So I don't know if your patios get like this over the winter but ours have just got disgusting. I think because we've got two kids who love football we don't have fake grass so they go down and play football all the time when it's muddy and boggy outside and then they come up to the doors with their muddy shoes and there's just mud everywhere. I cannot wait to show you this transformation. I also really hope this is gonna be a satisfying video for you all. So let me take you out there and show you what a disgrace it looks like right now. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is disgraceful. The kids play football down there and then they walk up here and they just bring everything with them. So, I mean, just look at this. It's just winter for you because here in the UK, it's just so muddy and we also get such a boggy garden and you've got a bit of moss growing as well. We need to actually clean all of, we need to clean and repaint all of this kind of um, wall area and then just like that, look at that, even that's got moss on it. Broken, mud, 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 mud. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely disgraceful. So this needs a humongous clean and tidy. We're gonna take off all of the furniture and this table tennis table and we're just gonna give it a really good blitz. Down here, we get like a big congestion of leaves here because we've got trees above that just drop the leaves. We need to get rid of like lots of these bits here. Down here, same as above absolute mess so we're gonna give and also we need to sort of sort those out as well because they've gone a bit green chris is just having a workout but yeah as you can see this is the reason why everything gets so gross because it's so muddy here but the boys love playing football we actually thought about getting astro but it would just cost an absolute fortune so we've decided not to okay so this is what we're going to be cleaning the patio with so this is an electric how cool is that pressure washer we've had this for a couple of years now and as you can see <laughs> still firmly in its box but I think it's because obviously we had the patio redone and everything so we haven't been able to get it out but the great thing about this as you can see it's got this like round head on it it sort of captures all the water in there and it cleans the area where the round head is so we're just going to take it out and um, plug it in to charge up the battery and then we're going to get started <laughs> out here so as you can see around here we just now need to repaint because um, when they put the tiles down they got some of the grouting on there so we just need to give it all another coat but Chris is getting a little carried away he's now also doing the path that's the next one to tackle down there but yeah it's just looking so much brighter but like I said we do just need to repaint now kind of everywhere the whole house needs another coat of paint to be honest because when we did it first of all we just did a rough sort of coat um, always knowing that we'd need to do more, but it looks so much better. Now we can just get our furniture back up.
the sun has just come out so I can show you the patio in all its glory. It looks so much better. I mean, I know we're gonna have to go over it again before like the summer because it's probably gonna get dirty again, but at least we've got like the most of the dirt out. Next time we can kind of just run over it a lot quicker. So it's just making the whole house feel so much brighter from the inside because it's not just like, dark and gloomy mud on here it's actually the nice color i'll link these tiles down below where we got them from because lots of people ask me about them actually so i'll link them down below they're from Paulston superstore and they're 20 mil thick tiles and they're 90 by 90 so they're lovely and big but yeah look once we get some cushions to just spice this area up I want to get a little rug like an outdoor rug here maybe another outdoor rug for that area as well so now next up we just need to paint and then here are our steps which just look so much better so we're going to tell the kids that they're definitely not allowed to run up here in their football boots anymore can you believe the difference in this patio I actually didn't well I did think this was bad but I thought the top one was worse until Chris started cleaning it so what we've decided because we've got a lot of stuff that needs to go back on here but I think we might get rid of some of this stuff because um, we've got like the barbecue and bits and bobs that we need to keep and then we've also got the boys table tennis table but we want to put a nice big corner sofa in this area with a table because that up there that light there is actually a light slash heater and then we want to like have this as you can see the sun is coming out nicely for this little video this is where the sun sets in the evening so that's why we built the pergola here so that this can be kind of like where we have um, some drinks in the evening we also extended the patio here so that this could be like our barbecue area we just don't have any furniture for here at the moment so we need to get something to go here so we might just kind of leave it empty for now put the barbecue over here in its place but just while it's drying we've left it as you can see Chris also jet washed the back fence quite a bit so he's got rid of loads of that moss which looks so much better so yeah everything is just looking and feeling like I feel cleansed. Everything's just feeling so much better. You might be wondering what these little marks on the patio are. And this is actually where we've had some metal. So, so annoying, but I'm sure there's something we can get to clean that off. If you know, could you comment down below what we need to get to get those off? And then that little round bit there where the gas canister was. Um, it just doesn't look very nice, does it? But I don't know what to use. That's not gonna, well, it, they're like, I'm sure they're quite hard wearing tiles, so I don't think they're gonna get damaged. But yeah, if you can think of anything, let me know. And that is our patio transformation complete. It looks so much better. I'm actually gonna overlay an image of how much brighter it looks from the inside, even though I haven't shown you what it looks like from the inside before. But yeah, honestly, it just looks so much better. We've got rid of the table tennis table that was in the middle of the patio too. So now when you look out, you can actually see the garden. I'll link the pressure washer that we used as well down below in my description box. It's just from B&Q. It's not too expensive and it works really, really well. So if you're looking for one for the summer, then this is definitely one I'd recommend. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it as satisfying as I did watching Chris do it. <laughs> I was gonna help him, but he gets quite like in the zone and then he just wants to do everything himself so that he can be proud of his achievements, which is absolutely fine with me because it's quite cold outside. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys. I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you again soon. Bye.